Hey guys, today on Ken Smith Fishing, how to use your Hummingbird Auto Chart Live feature to draw your own maps. If this is something you haven't played with, you got to stick around that and watch. One, and then I caught that one. I'm not saying that's calling your shot, but. <laughs> big fish, big fish, Mike. Hey guys, so I want to show y'all something that I use a lot, and, and I'm sure some of you use it as well. But if you don't, you should learn how to use it, and it's called Hummingbird Live. Now, there's two ways to do it. You have a limited amount of storage on your actual, now I'm using Helix units, but I believe Celtics are the same way. There's a limited amount of storage on there, uh, but if you buy the Auto Charts Live card, there's a ton more storage, and I apologize, I don't know the specifics of it, but there's a lot more storage available to you. And so what I've done is, I'm in an area uh, back in, uh, uh, on Toledo Bend, actually, where there's just not real good, let me show you. There's not real good mapping of the area. So you can see it shows, yeah, there's maybe a little drain running in there, but I'm looking for creek swings to fish. So what I've done is I've come in here and you can see I've idled a crazy pattern because I'm really trying to figure something out. So you go menu, menu, hummingbird chart. You go down to auto chart live and I've already got it on. So I'm camera shut off and you see I've got it set on hidden you turn it on and what you'll see is I have now charted and I'm going to continue doing it as we talk I have now charted what looks to be a really nice little creek swing in there and you see it's rebuilding the map that I had in there as we go <coughs> and it's just a really neat by the way so let me just show you real quick uh, on the auto chart options, that's the pallets I like. So two, one, and one visible, and I put it down to one foot contour lines. And what you see is I'm drawing those maps as I go. And it it's it's a really cool feature. So I've already discovered there's a creek swing, there's a creek swing right there, and there's a little creek swing over here too that my map's not fully populated. As soon as it pulls it up, I'll show you all the rest of what it's done here. So quick cutaway here. Um, I'm doing this as you can see on my graph that's on the uh, dash. So my Hummingbird Helixes, and I don't think any of them do, don't share, I'm pretty sure this is right, I know my Helixes don't, they don't share auto chart maps. That map stays on that unit. So if you want to take that map, which is what I was doing, and move it to the front unit, you have to have an auto chart live zero lines card. Now here's what it looks like. You can get this at Tackle Warehouse. I'll put a link in the, in, in the comments down below on the YouTube channel here. It's 99 bucks, but it's got, and I don't know, it's not certainly not unlimited, but I've got a whole bunch of maps drawn on this. And what I do, I'll draw them on the back because it's so much faster to do this with the big motor. And then I just take the card and put it in one of my front Helix units so that I can read that map when I want to off that front unit. So I probably have, 40 spots on Rayburn that I've mapped like this and probably 10 on Toledo and then some of some other places too. Usually it's spots that I like to fish quite a bit and I really kind of want to understand what exactly is there, but I also use it as a search tool, use it as a search tool as well. So you can see now I've, I've discovered a creek swing, but something's weird. I, I don't quite understand what's going on right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around here and I'm going to turn and I'm going to go back over that section from a different angle. And what you're going to see happen is it's going to change the shape of those lines as I go back through there. Fortunately, it's a ton of timber right there where that corner is, but watch these lines change shape as I go back through there. Run over stuff as I do it.
and I'm going to run over that section right there and do the same thing. so it doesn't know what's up there. And we'll go up there and we'll just make a swing and I'll show you where that creek goes, whichever direction it goes up there. One of the things that will help you with this also is if you come in here later and you go menu, menu, and you go over to current track and you say clear that track. Yes. You see, I got all my squiggly lines off the top of it. It's a whole lot easier to read what I've done. Okay, now I've got something pretty cool looking here that I'm going to fish, so uh, let's clear this, menu, menu, current track, clear, oh, dang it, no, clear, yes, and what you can see is that creek actually runs right up against a super shallow spot, so I want to fish back through there now with my rig and see if I can get a bite. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll have more stuff coming from you this weekend. Remember, well, when you're watching this video, I'll probably be on Toledo Bend fishing Bass Champs. And then I'll be fishing the Outlaw Outdoors Tournament Sunday on Sam Raver. So thanks for tuning in. Also, if you have never done this, so you can actually take this information and now drag it and use your Hummingbird PC application and actually draw some really cool stuff. So here's one I did. And what you see here is it also has bottom, bottom hardness available to it. So you can actually see where the bottom is harder using this, this tool, drop waypoints on it, and then come back and throw directly at the hard spots. Uh, uh, it's a lot of work because you've got to download it, put it on your PC, do all the work with it. But uh, I found some really cool spots on it. Uh, hard spots, interesting, and one of my favorite spots that I didn't know there was another hard spot on the back side of the point. And now I'm catching fish off both sides of it because I went over and, and, and mapped it and saw that there was a second hard spot on the other side of the point that I didn't know was there. Mm -hmm.